But yeah, uh, Windows 7 release Canada. That's like the new version of Windows that's supposed to be coming out uh, in the fall. It's like the the next version after Vista, right? So, see, she's not even listening. You can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, it was meant to be. You know, it's a it's a release candidate. You can download it for free off of the Microsoft TechNet website, uh, but they've extended that until the end of August. I think it was August 20th. Is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, she knows this. Look at that. Uh, so, August 20th, you can download it up until then. Uh, so, they've extended that a little bit longer. But remember, if you don't buy it. Once it's actually out of release candidate status, like we're talking next March, I think. Um, once once that release candidate uh, expires, you won't be able to use that operating system anymore without buying it. So that's that's the fear. So make sure if you do play with it, use it in a virtual machine. Don't install it into a, a real production environment because it will expire. It will stop working. It will start rebooting on its own at random. That's their way of forcing you to buy it. Yeah. It will reboot. It reboots. It reboots. Incessantly. It gives you a little warning message. This is come March 2010. It gives give you a little warning message that says, you need to buy this. This was the release candidate rebooting your computer now. Regardless of what you have open. Regardless of what you're doing. <laughs> Save your work. Quick. So make sure if you are going to use it in a production environment, you're serious about buying Windows 7.